Hi, Bob with Knives Town here. I'd like to do a review for you today on a knife made by Emerson Knife Company. It is a uh, folding karambit knife, or combat karambit as they call it. Uh, the knife arrives in a standard uh, Emerson box, just the uh, same as all the others with their slogan on there, the number one hard use knives in the world which they've been proclaiming now for quite a few years. Made in the USA, always good to see. This is the Karambit model. Knife arrives in a plastic sleeve with some literature, a product warranty registration card with uh, the picture of Ernest Emerson on it and some uh, information about the care and handling of the knife. Pretty limited information with it. The knife itself is, uh, it is, uh, oh, when open, as we have here, the knife is 6.8 inches overall. I'll get, see if I can get a tight shot of that. The blade is 2.6 inches in length, and that blade is made of 154 cm, which is a very, very nice uh, high performance steel. That's one of the very best you can get. The handle scales here are made of G10, uh, a resin, uh, glass laminate type of uh, resin, uh, very very tough, very rugged, very uh, indestructible. Uh, the uh, handles do have are finely checkered, uh, which enhances the grip of them. That G10 there. There is a, a, a back spacer in the knife there at that point. The knife does have a, it is a liner lock knife, and that is a titanium liner lock that does have uh, ridges there for ease of use. It locks up solid with zero blade play, as you would expect. The blade opens with a thumb hole. There's no thumb stud on it. So it's got a clean profile, but it does have a thumb hole there, so it's truly ambidextrous. The other way of opening the blade is with the Emerson Wave system, which is this spur here. And, and uh, as you may know, what, what that does is when the knife is clipped into the pocket and it's, it's pulled out, then that catches on the edge of the pocket uh, as, as it's being drawn. And, and with, when drawn with velocity, it opens the blade uh, and locks it open so that it's drawn and opened in one motion. The, um, the Rockwell hardness uh, of the blade is 57 to 59 and the entire knife weighs 3.6 ounces. Not a heavy knife. Um, <clears throat> so you can see that that is a, a very good uh, it does fit very well in the hand, though, uh, and I would definitely give it very high marks for that. This, this, this is a, the kind of a blade uh, knife handle that is easy to grip onto, and it's not going to, you're not going to have that pulled out of your hand, or it's not going not to come out very easily. The G10 is naturally sort of grippy, and then you have the, uh, the finger grooves here, which your, your fingers just naturally lay into that. And then some people like to put their finger through the hole here. Now there's a lot of debate on, on the use of karambits and the proper holds and that kind of thing. And some people say that that's not a good idea where it, it give, perhaps gives an opponent a, a, a leverage advantage on your hand. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know. It, it's, uh, it's personal choice. With, with finger grooves like this and G10 and, and the, sh the, the, shape, the, the shape of the handle, I don't see that a putting your finger through there is necessary, but it's all personal choice. Uh, the, it can be held in the foregrip like that, 
or it can be held in the reverse grip like that or it can be, uh, if you need reach, it, it can be choked out, choked down on and, and held like this for, for, some, for some reach. That Hawksbill blade is, will, will do ripping like no other blade. The blade is chisel ground, like Emerson knives are. flat on that side and there's your grind on that side the logo on the blade when the blade closes it does have there is a detent on in, in there in which I'll see if I can if you can hear it uh, did you hear that there there's a there is a detent there so so as a, the blade goes in it there's a click and, and it does it does give uh, a, some pressure on the blade there so so it does take just a slight amount of pressure to open it which as you would want it's truly one-handed the pocket clip uh, can be reversed it can be changed over to the opposite side here uh, to those three holes you see there but it cannot be changed to to uh, any other way there's no there's no changing you know reversing the the to tip down it's it's tip up it's tip up but it but you can change it this way or that way really overall it is a it's a very very well built knife very sturdy uh, absolutely the best materials you can find uh, titanium liner lock G10 handle 154 cm uh, it's got the ambidextrous opening uh, it's got the wave opening so you can open it two different ways it's got uh, it's got sort of a, a, a bowed shape so that it just it's, it's bowed so it lays naturally in your hand the thumb grooves stabilize it in your hand there's a there's a, 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 a hole back there if you want to if you want to use that uh, it, you know, it's it's really it's it's a knife that's really made for for uh, getting a hold of and, and making good use of. So if you like a karambit, this this is a certainly definitely one to consider. Emerson is pretty much single-handedly responsible for bringing back the karambit, and it does enjoy a popularity now among a certain following. Uh, if you're looking for a karambit. I can I can make a hearty recommendation on this one. It's 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 very well built, uh, you know, very dependable. Uh, this blade is very sharp, and that that point is like a needle. So it it'll take anything you can throw at it. Very good. All right, well, thanks for watching. We'll see you again.